So, Dana, what do the lawmakers say after that briefing? There is still a lot of very strong skepticism that this is the right thing to do. Uh, first, let me just give you one example, uh, and this, I just really picked this out because she was very articulate, but she certainly does not stand alone. This is Janice Hahn, a fellow Democrat of the president, who actually took the red eye from California just to be here for this classified briefing to get information, and then she's flying right back. Listen to what she said about where she stands after hearing from the administration. I. Uh, I'm hoping to find an answer to the question, is there another way to hold Assad accountable? This is what the international community wants to do. We want to hold him accountable. We want there to be some consequences. What is that? Is that just going to war? Is that bombing? Uh, is that killing more people? I'm not, I, I'm not yeah. there yet. Well, Congressman, you know, if the vote was held today, do you think it would pass? You know, that's a very good question. There was a limited number of members of Congress in here. I, I feel right now it's evenly divided. And and if how many if were the vote were to happen, would you vote for it today? I would not vote for it today. And again, she was not alone in saying that even from several members of the president's own party and also from Republicans. One other thing that is very clear coming out of this briefing and talking to members of both parties is that the way that the administration drafted uh, the language that you and I first talked about when we got it last night on the air, Don, uh, is too broad. It's, 